In order to be able to get the boy pregnant, the doctor injected him with a special drug, and soon there was a fetal movement in his body. The island was inhabited by a group of women, but none of them had the ability to reproduce. So a group of boys was captured and kept in captivity to become a vessel prepared for reproduction. The boy named Tom, because he was too quiet and was drawn, he always became the object of teasing other boys. This day he dived alone into the bottom of the sea, but accidentally found a boy's body and a starfish crawling on his stomach. Tom was very scared after seeing it and hurriedly turned around and went home where he told his mother what he had seen, but his mother did not believe him at all, so he drew the starfish boy's appearance. Hearing his mother's footsteps fading in, the boy hurriedly turned the page and started drawing a starfish again. Mom came back to give him medicine, and he knew he wasn't actually sick at all, but he had to drink this black liquid every day. Even though his mother says it's a tonic, Tom still doesn't quite believe it. In order to dispel his doubts, the next day Mom took them to the beach, and personally went into the water and caught a starfish, and told them that the sea has never drowned anyone. Tom did not believe his mother's nonsense. He went to the bottom of the sea again to find the boy's body, but accidentally cut his hand. Fortunately, his mother arrived in time to save him on shore. The other boys started taunting him again, and Tom was so angry that he pushed one of the boys down and punched him. The mothers arrived just in time to stop the fight. Tom, who had failed to retaliate, had to take his anger out on the starfish. Not realizing that he suddenly had a nosebleed, Mom also saw the scene and knew the time was right. So she took him to the hospital. On the way, he also met another boy who had just come out of the hospital. The gentle and beautiful nurse lady personally helped him to take a bath. So Tom also showed her his drawing book, soccer or cars, all the objects that are not available on the island. The nurse was very puzzled because she had never seen these things before either. Tom was pushed to the operating table. The doctor took out a thicker than thumb syringe and injected an unknown liquid into Tom's abdomen. When he woke up again, Tom had been sent to a ward, surrounded by boys just like him. The boy inadvertently stumbles upon a group of naked women, who are gathered in a circle and are performing some sort of ritual. A newborn baby was being passed in their hands, and they were intoxicated and entwined in an unusually bizarre scene. The boy was terrified and hurriedly turned around and ran back to his room, where Tom lay in bed tossing and turning. Having trouble sleeping, he got up and slipped out, but overheard his mother in the shower her smooth back surprisingly full of small round bumps. That's when mom suddenly turned around and spotted Tom. The next day, mom took him to the hospital for a checkup, and the instrument showed that there was already an embryo in Tom's belly, and he was surprisingly pregnant with a little baby. On that side, his mother looked down and smiled at him, showed great satisfaction with the result, and let Tom stay in the hospital. The ward was full of boys his age, who felt their bellies and felt that they had been admitted to the hospital because they were sick. Only Tom knew why they had been admitted. The nurse lady was packing up the baby embryos as she soaked the dead ones into chemical jars. Behind her, on the operating table, lay a boy who had died after being disemboweled. She puts the jar into a secret room filled with baby embryos of all sizes, all seeds that were forced to be abandoned because the experiment failed. When Tom woke up again, the nurse was sitting next to him, admiring his sketchbook. She prepared a brush for Tom and encouraged him to draw something, but to his surprise, Tom drew a Ferris wheel, and the nurse had no idea what it was. Then Tom drew a blonde woman. There is no blonde woman on the island. Tom probably still has memories about out of the island. The blonde may be his real mother. Tom's drawings were soon discovered by Mom, who grabbed the drawing book and found the blonde's portrait. Tom's behavior angers his mother, and as a consequence, he is ruthlessly sent to the operating table again. The boy woke up in the water and looked down. Two babies are now lying on his belly button. The boy screamed in fear but his limbs were fixed in the water and simply could not move. At this point, a baby will slowly stick his head out of the water. The boy was afraid to look up at him. The boy was raised by a group of women with suction cups on their bodies just to use him as a vessel for reproduction and fertility. There are many other boys on the island who have been captured just like him, but they are all kept in the dark and only Tom retains the memories he had before coming to the island. But his secret was soon discovered, and he was used as a vessel to grow baby embryos. The nurse, who had been taking care of him, couldn't stand it anymore, so she secretly rescued him. They came to the beach. Nurse Jenny told him all the truth. A long time ago, scientists secretly came to the island to do experiments, trying to combine humans and starfish. The purpose is to cultivate a new human with the ability to heal themselves. But the research failed. All the women cultivated are full of suckers on their backs. So the scientists left all these experimental buddies on the island and evacuated themselves. After the genetic mutation, the group of women lost the ability to reproduce. They captured the boys and want to use their bodies to breed new life. And in order to better control the boys, they assigned each boy a mother. The mother is responsible for taking care of their lives 
and giving them a black liquid every day on time. The black liquid is probably designed to suppress their memories, but Tom is clearly not affected by the drug. He was even able to draw a lot of things that were not on the island with his subconscious. In order to prove that he was not lying, Jenny especially took off her clothes, revealing the shocking suction cups on her back. Tom carefully reached out his hand and gently stroked them, as if to comfort Jenny. Jenny then took Tom and jumped into the sea. She held him and kept giving him artificial respiration to help him escape. The two swam in the sea for a long time and finally got on a small broken boat. Looking at Tom, who had passed out, Jenny stared at him for a long time, then looked out in the direction of the island, made up her mind, and jumped into the sea again, leaving the boy Tom alone in the boat. Floating alone on the sea, loneliness slowly surrounded him, until one night, the waves of the sea sent him to a port. Looking at the twinkling stars in the city not far away, Tom finally rekindled his hope 